This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2004 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's got 150,000 and 78 miles, so 150,000 miles. Um, it is an XLT with a Regency package, which is an XLT with leather seats that have uh, gray leather and the black leather trim inserts. It's a little bit of an upgrade package. It's an aftermarket thing. Um, that I see on a few trucks once in a while. Um, it's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two-wheel drive. Um, it was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Houston, Texas. It is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Please watch the little three-minute animated video in our ad on the salvage the theft uh, subject. Basically, the insurance company's attorneys don't want any more liability for the insurance company, so they give it a salvage title. That way. When they sell it to us, we sell it to you, and something happens to you in this truck or somebody else or whatever, it can't go back to the insurance company. If they sold it to us on a clear title, a good lawyer may be able to uh, go after Geico or Progressive or whoever and uh, get money, but uh, obviously Wheel Connects doesn't have what the insurance company has. So they basically divorced themselves from the responsibility on this truck by uh, giving it a salvage title. Uh, lawyers. Anyway, you'll see four pictures of it before it left Houston. In the pictures, it looks just like this, except we had to paint the truck because it had been keyed really bad, and you really can't tell in the pictures. Um, you'll wonder why we painted it. It looked like hell. It really did. And now it's got a one-stage uh, Mako paint job, and if anyone knows Mako, um, I think we paid $1,400 for it, for the paint job, and it's got floaties in it. Not too bad. It's got a couple little runs I'll show you on the roof. They didn't do that great a job on that part. It actually is a good looking truck, but the thing I try to do in, uh, in these videos is avoid any kind of misrepresentation. So i probably a little meaner than I should be, but I just want people to know that it's not new paint. Like, see a little floaty right there, that type of thing. It's in there, okay? It actually looks great, but you know, if I, hype it and tell you it's great then someone will scream at me and I don't want to get screamed at. Um, when we get them here we do an inspection this is what it looks like. Um, Mako paint previous paint had been keyed. Uh, Regency leather interior runs and drives great. Um, we did uh, driver door lock uh, obviously broken when it was stolen. We fixed that. Uh, driver seat bolster uh, it had a tear on the outside of the driver's seat. Rotella oil change and filter and rear brake pads. That's what it got, okay? Um, the tires and wheels are 20 inch wheels. Um, pretty high rubber, I would say probably, the fronts look like they're at least 70 or 80% and the rears are probably 50 to 60% tread. Um, when we had it painted, we didn't tell them to take every ding out. So there's gonna be a few dings here and there. Uh, if you take them all out, you get into the thousands. And really, we just wanted this thing to be a nice tow vehicle for someone, not a brand new car. Um, if you want brand new and a great, you know, perfect looking paint job, this is not the truck. If you want a good looking truck, it's not embarrassing, see like this, then this is a great truck for you. But if you need perfection, move on. This ain't it. Honestly, it's a... Uh, just my eye, I can see things that most people wouldn't notice. There's a little thing right here, but uh, I grew up doing this. So I'm a little more critical than most people would be. We've had lots of people ogling this truck already, and they don't think anything's wrong. Let me show you where I saw the runs, right there. That's nice, but uh, whatever. It's there, we're not gonna deal with it because I don't think anyone who's buying this truck is buying it really very much for the cosmetic. I think this will be just fine for the purposes of the next guy. If I had a little more time, I'd probably send it back to Mako and make him buff that out. But I know it's not gonna matter. 500 people to 1,000 people a day see this truck online, will see this truck online, and uh, they're not gonna care. The people who really wanna buy it are not gonna buy it, or stay away from it. the paint. We have 150,090 miles on it now. People want to know as much as they can know. We like to provide as much as we can. 
There's a Kelly on it, 150,000 mile. We call it a Laria because it's got leather interior. Um, it's also got this aftermarket dash stuff, so it's kind of, yeah. It's more accurate to call it a Laria than an XLT. Anyway, the suggested retail price is 13872 There's all the equipment. All the equipment will be in the ad, so no need to freeze that and look. This is the Carfax for this vehicle. Branded title due to theft. I will show you that here momentarily. Boom, 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 boom. This is the Carfax. Like I said, the purpose of these ads is not to find, you know, not to sell the truck. It's to make sure that the truck ends up at the right house, not the wrong house. That means making sure everyone knows the warts. Stolen 21016, recovered 6916. And there you go, okay? Um, it was an ACC General Agency Insurance. I have no idea what that is. And that's our current title. This will be in the ad also, okay? I'm gonna go under the hood. We're gonna look for Ford stamps on both fenders and on both sides of the core support, which would indicate that nothing's been replaced. And then I'm gonna also take off the oil cap and look for a blow by. There's usually some, but this is a pretty nice looking truck, so I doubt that there's any in this thing. No blow by. Excellent. Alright. There's your Ford stamp right there. New battery on this side. Ford stamp there. There should be another Ford stamp here. And there it is. Right there. And then there should be another one right there. Alright? There you go. A no blow by truck. Pretty rare with 150, so someone took care of this thing. your locks, power seat back, forward, down, up, let me go all the way up and then all the way down again, just make sure the whole seat, there you go, perfect, all right, let's see, tilt up, and tilt down, front tilt up, and down, that works fine, this seat's in great shape. We did have to recover the arm on that one. Or, I think we did. I think we recovered or actually I think we might have just replaced it. From another seat we had. The driver's seats and the lariats usually get hammered pretty good. The outside bolster of the armrest generally. Back seat looks outstanding. Which is also common. The back seats and these trucks almost never get used. My brother will be taking this out for uh, 60 to 80, I'd say, HD pictures. In that gallery, you'll have a little uh, device that will allow you to uh, zoom in on whatever you see. Little magnifying glass. Please use that. Um, if you see something you really want to zoom in on um, so that there's no mysteries especially on the on the uh, cosmetics there should never be any doubts about what you're buying cosmetically or mechanically we tell you everything we know um, and that way the right vehicle ends up at the right address there you go seat forward seat back seat up seat down tilt up tilt down Built up, built down. This is a new piece right here, this insert right here. That's what we replaced. And I think we just got a new armrest off of a, a truck that we a parts truck that we had. A little bit of wear here, not too bad. It's not gonna poke through any time. It says fog lights right here. Whoever stole the truck stole those because they're not on it. I need some air. It's hot. Alright. Oh man, it's still hot. Trick-or-treating, it'll be 100 degrees. Ugh. All right, let's see, what do we got here? We got a CD player with a USB port here. All right, air's working great, that I can tell.
tell you because it's hot and if it didn't work, I would be bitching. Alright, there's your tow haul on and off. On and off. There you go. Alright, let's see. Let me tilt the wheel down a little bit. Let's go for a ride. All right, this truck's being sold on a salvage title. If you come here to drive it home, obviously you need plates and obviously you need insurance. You can get neither on a salvage title. So we have to take it to the police and do what's called a, uh, a uh, level three inspection. And then we get, uh, with the level three inspection, we can go get a restored salvage title. The restored salvage title allows us to uh, issue you uh, drive away plates and it allows you to call your insurance agent and get insurance. So obviously that's mandatory if you're going to drive it home. Uh, we charge $200 to do that before you get here. Uh, 50 goes to the state, 150 goes to us to cover the cost of our guy being there. He uh, gets this ball rolling about 6 in the morning and he's usually done by 10 or noon, but sometimes he's not done until 5 or 6 in the afternoon, depending on how much police action they have, because uh, real cops do the inspection and they may be busy doing real police work. So, uh, they don't let us drop them off anymore. So the 150 covers uh, the four hours up to 10 hours that our guy has to deal with this. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. So there's $200 to restore the title if you come here. There's a $250 dock fee and then there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if you come here to drive it home, you will pay your state tax rate plus our 2% city tax, plus $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, unless you want to check the box to restore the title, and we'll get the title restored and uh, uh, before it ships out to you. Um, once we receive your wire, if you're gonna ship, we will fill in the uh, title, notarize it, sign it off to you with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We will even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Uh, nothing is left undocumented in our process. Um, and obviously once you have the truck shipped to you, uh, you'll already have the title from the mail. You'll just go to motor vehicles and get your plates. Very simple. This is a really nice running truck. Um, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we receive the deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. Please make sure that you get your deposit in. Uh, this is a pretty nice truck. Uh, nice rubber on the tires. Uh, good looking truck. You know, I kind of threw the paint under the bus just because I don't want to make sure that people know the truth that it's not a factory paint job. And, uh, you know, where to look for any of the imperfections in the video or the pictures in the gallery, etc. We just want to make sure everyone knows what they're buying, okay? Uh, but please get the deposit in as quickly as you can. Uh, We've had a couple horse races where people are on, on the same vehicle at the same time and the guy who comes in second place getting their deposit in doesn't get the truck uh, the computer kicks them out and then they get pissed so be the winner of the race um, warranty speech it's a hundred fifty thousand mile uh, 13 year old truck there's no warranty Ford bailed on it many many years ago and many many miles ago they did that because they didn't know what would happen after X amount of miles or X amount of years to the vehicle they built, okay? If they don't know, I doubt we know more than Ford. Bottom line, there is no warranty. When you get it to your house, you're the owner, okay? If, you, if something breaks, get out your checkbook and fix it. Um, you're saving a ton of money buying it because of the title, basically. Um, you're saving a bunch of money and you just need to put it inside your mind that a little bit or some of that money that you're saving is going to have to go to a repair sooner or later. It could be five years from now or it could be five minutes from now. Um, we don't tell people that we sell perfect vehicles. Um, we give you these videos, we give you the pictures, we give you the Kelly, we give you the Carfax, but at the end of the day there's still some risk. If you're risk averse, do not buy anything from us please because we cannot sell you the perfect car. All right? Um, that's the speech, but that being said, I'd drive this thing to Maine right now. Uh, thank you for your time.